Let's turn to Alec Baldwin, the situation there. Um, it, it's just a shocker that you wake up to this. You yeah. know, one dead, the cinematographer, uh, the director, Joel mm -hmm. Souza, injured. We don't know the extent of that. And again, we know at the center of it, Alec Baldwin and this prop gun. And there's, we're not even suggesting, right now we don't know. Horrific accident is being reported. Mm -hmm. But, right. you know, for... Brandon Lee's sister to tweet this morning already. Mm. No one should die from a gun, and we have the tweet. We can put it back up there mm -hmm. uh, on a movie set. I, you know, right. I, you've been on movie sets. I've been on movie sets. We know how things work generally. Um, I've never held one of these prop guns. I don't know what they put in them, uh, but it's j there's the tweet. Um, it is just. Mm. Uh, it's just, well, it's god awful. It's tragic. Is what it is. It, yeah. yeah, it's very tragic. I mean, that DP, that director of photography, got up thinking that her biggest problem that day was going to be maybe sunlight, maybe choosing the right lens, and you know, listening to the director on that particular day. The director probably felt like the the worst that he was going to go through was going to be maybe some petulant actor or something like that. Never thinking that they were going to get actually shot and one losing their yeah. life. Um, it's tragic because, like you said, we've been on movie sets before, and it just brought me back because, you know, three weeks ago I was filming something, and in the scene, I've been, I was in two scenes that involved guns. And as you know, when there is a gun that's involved, and I don't know how long this has been going on, it could have been as long as, you know, since Brandon Lee was tragically killed that day on the movie set, there is someone who comes out as an expert and explains what kind of gun it is, if it's a BB gun, if it's a real gun, if it's a prop yeah. gun, uh, they will explain how it works and if it has live ammunition. And now, the sets I've been on has never had live ammunition, so I don't know why this particular set had to have live ammunition in it, because that is obviously dangerous when you're dealing with people who are actors and who are not trained professionals to be able to handle those types of guns. So. Um, I don't know how it happened. I, I can't wait to see more details, but it is a tragedy that should not have happened. And now Hollywood and the film industry has to make some kind of changes where it will never happen again. Well, it's maybe a system of checks and balances. Maybe, maybe that's as far as we can go this morning. Presumably, Alec Baldwin's been in countless pictures, okay? He's been a huge Hollywood mm -hmm. star for, for many, many years. So if we just start there and say, of course, he probably had some training with this, some. Maybe it misfired, maybe it malfunctioned in some way, don't know. Uh, but this is, again, just horrific. There are other images of Alec yeah. Baldwin uh, outside the, the Santa Fe uh, Police Department. Uh, in He looks Sharon. horrified. Um, yeah. And I feel bad for him. Uh, that's another thing, because he's going to have to deal with this for the rest of his life. He'll never get past this day that this was an accident. He'll all he'll have nightmares more than likely about it. I, I'm not in his psyche, but he'll have nightmares about it. But to your point about him having training, and yes, and he's probably held plenty of guns. I've seen many of his movies, and uh, I can't remember one that where he actually held a gun. I'm pretty sure he has. I held a gun a as an actor a couple of weeks ago. I was part of a scene where a guy held a gun to someone's head, and it was an air gun. So I'm thinking about all these types of situations. What I'm saying is, no matter how much of an expert you are, you could be a military man, mm -hmm. you could be a policeman. There is no reason why there should be a live a gun with live ammunition in it drawn on a movie set to make, I mean, they got special effects, they got imaging, they got all right. these types of things that make it seem like, okay, pow, we got sound effects, all that type of stuff, air guns, there is no reason to have live ammunition in a gun on the movie set. So I want to hear that explanation. I do too. And, you know, maybe we're, we're going a little bit too far in, because there's so much that we don't know. But I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, and perhaps there's this push, and it has been for so long, constantly pushing the envelope to make sure it looks as real and exciting to moviegoers as possible. Uh, but waking up to this again, uh, yeah. horrific. And it's not the only time. You know, it's not the only time. There's been mm -hmm. several other incidents, mm -hmm. not a lot, but one is too many. And if you are, you know, the right. family, the loved ones of this young woman, you know, she looks young, uh, they've lost her.
Yeah. And we don't know about mm -hmm. the director. We don't know what is going to come of his injuries. So a lot more to unpack, a lot more to know. Um, yeah. From police, Alec Baldwin, uh, the studio, all of it. Um, but again, yep. I, our hearts go out to everybody. It's just horrific. Yeah, we want to hear more about why he was doing it, what he was doing. Hopefully he wasn't playing around, joking, and doing all that type of stuff, and it went off. I don't know. We can't speculate because we don't know the complete details. But one last point, it also goes back to the point of you got to live your life while you can. You never know. Once again, that young lady probably did not expect to die. No, who, who goes to work and expects to die? No one does. Live your life while you can. Live it to the fullest while you can. And enjoy the people that you're around and your loved ones while you can because you never know when it's going to be taken away.